time moves on and we're all left to keep up. Sometimes we feel a bit older and maybe look a bit older and some of us struggle more than others. But for many of us, we can decide to be present in the moments we're given, savor them, live with purpose for ourselves, for our families. And when the time comes, let others who love us take good care of us. River Garden is this, this true culture of caring. It's, um, if you ask people why they're here, they're here for the mission. We're doing a very hard job, but it's not looked at as work. It, it, it's fun being with people that you enjoy being with and that we all have the same goal, we all have the same mission, we all want good outcomes. You feel a peace that you're providing what you need for the patient. You feel like that is the ultimate goal here, is to make sure that they're getting what they need. This is a home. We want, want it to be a positive experience and we want them to feel like that there's still lots of life to live. The River Garden is a very organized place and there is a very well organized program and how we do things and starts with the patient is always in the middle of it, the patient is always a center. Because of that we have a cohesive unit that works with the patient. We really look at what the needs are, everything from medicine to therapy to nursing. What do they really need and how can we interact together to make that work for them? If you become sick, the physicians are there. If we need medication, the pharmacy delivers it. There's no wait time. Medical conditions, for the very most part, are taken care of on site. We have a rehab center that is, is second to none. We have capabilities here that no other nursing home has that in, in this area. It's one of the best facilities I've ever seen. We have all of the equipment you could ask for. Anytime we ask for something, they really look to get the newest and best for us. It's more like a home, and that's really what resonates, I think, with a lot of people, is that it's more home-like and, and you feel comfortable here. I am taking care now of people whose parents I took care of when I first came here. So it truly is a family. We all care, and it's very personal, and it's not just one person's job, it's all of our job to take care of them. And if you see someone who's struggling and they're in their wheelchair, we stop and ask them, can I take you to your room? Or where are you going? Going to ceramics? Absolutely, let's go. So you don't just do your job, you help others. And it's a good teamwork here. We all work together as a team. Dignity is a crucial thing. It's a human being. It's somebody's mother, it's somebody's sister. Even if it's somebody's neighbor, it's our patient. And it almost goes without saying here. The dignity is, is given everything what we do. It's the River Garden culture. One of the first administrators here told us, you find a way to say yes. It's, it's uh, what makes it so special. Their lives have been such full lives. You know, they have 80, 90 years of experience and stories to share with us. So hearing those stories, you know, just warms my heart. I mean, it, they're delightful people those who are, become sick and, you know, relatives aren't here. You know, I feel like we're the surrogate. Well, there was a book written years ago called A Nursing Home Without Walls, and that's what we've hoped we've created here. And so a person will come in and out, and rather than transitioning from this center to this center the, to this center and staying, it would be more like a circle. It's really well thought out so that patients and families can continue in the continuum of care of River Garden. We have everything from inpatient to outpatient to home health, senior services, adult day, so it really allows a patient to stay in the River Garden family if they want to stay. I think the success really stems from the top. Um, we have a, a CEO and members of administration that, first of all, have a vision, support the vision, and 
it trickles down to everyone. Our current administrator is fond of saying, we won't build more beds. You won't see us expanding the physical structure of River Garden. You'll see us bringing the care into the home. We do things not because it's an expectation or because the state mandates it. We do things because it's the right thing to do. Honor my father and my mother, and that's where we can say yes to what people need. Families may not live here, but they make sure their loved one is taken care of.